Hi folks, HR Funk here. Coming to you with a special video today in honor of Veterans Day coming up in just a couple of weeks. And this video actually comes about as a result of an email that I got from Mr. Revolver Guy over at Day at the Range telling me about a special Veterans Day challenge he's participating in. Now, rather than try to paraphrase Mr. Revolver Guy and tell you all the ins and outs of this challenge, check the description section of this video and it will take you to his video where he explains everything. And he's actually participating in this even though it was posted by another individual who also has a YouTube channel. So there's an actual chain going around here. The important thing to know is to participate in this challenge, you have to use the target that's specified. You have to use a vintage military rifle equipped only with iron sights, so no optics for this part of the challenge. You shoot 10 shots for record at a distance of 100 yards. You can use any position you want. Now, Mr. Revolver Guy is shooting from a bench on top of bags, and Mr. Revolver Guy is a Marine. He knows better than this. The way a vintage military rifle is supposed to be fired is from a field position off a sling. So since I decided to participate in the challenge, that's the way I'm going to shoot it. You'll see that when we get out to the range. But first, I have to tell you something specifically about the target that I'm using. Now, as I said, participation in this challenge requires the use of a specific target. And Mr. Revolver Guy emailed me that target, but I wasn't able to print it off. So I started looking around in my target collection for something similar, and I came across this one. This is an SR-21C target, and all of the scoring rings in this target are exactly the same as the one Mr. Revolver Guy emailed me, but with this target, the X ring is slightly smaller. On the target that was emailed to me, the diameter of the X ring was just about one inch, whereas on this target, the X ring is about three quarters of an inch. Everything else, the 10 ring, the nine ring, and the eight ring are all the same dimensions as the one that were sent in the email. And only the eight, nine, 10, and X rings count in this challenge. So nothing in the seven ring, nothing in the eight, excuse me, nothing in the seven ring, nothing in the six ring, et cetera, is going to be counted in the score when you finish shooting this challenge. So pretty good. You've got to try to keep everything inside of the black portion of this target at a distance of 100 yards, shooting only with iron sights. So I decided to shoot this challenge, as I said, with my M1 Garin. And I also decided to shoot it with some leftover M2 ball ammunition that I had here. So this is not special match ammunition or anything else. It's the type of ammunition that would have been issued for this rifle back when it was still being used by the military. So let's take a ride out to the range. We'll see how things went. Then we'll come back and talk about it and I'll show you my score. And here we go. Clip of two followed by a clip of eight. Let's see what happens. First shots away, looked pretty good. I'd call that probably a nine at nine o'clock. And it looks like a nine at six o'clock, a little low on that one. Let's see what happens this time around. That looked like an X at 9 o'clock. And I can't really see it. Hopefully it's in there somewhere. Time to switch clips. That looked good. That looked like an X. Something about the light conditions today. I'm having a hard time seeing these things in the spotting scope. So I'm just going to have to hope for the best.
That's another one that looked pretty good. And looks like that might have been high. I see one at uh, about one o'clock in the eight ring. That one looked good. And that looks low through the scope. Wow. That is out of the black, and I did not expect it to be there. It's another one that looks good. And I don't see anything else outside the black, so hopefully it is good. <laughs> Might have held the sight picture a little too long that time. And yeah, it looks like I did. I see another one out at uh, about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the 7 ring. And two shots outside the black. That's not doing all that well. That one looked good when it broke. And it looks like I got another one outside the black. Man, these things, I feel like I'm shooting a shotgun. <laughs> All right, that one's at least in the eight ring. I'm going to come down one click. Yeah, I don't think I'll make a windage correction. Yeah, maybe I will. What the heck? Let's go left one. And that was the last shot. Now I'm going to go down and calculate the score. Ooh, <laughs> so I ended up with a 61. That's a pretty gruesome score for me. I've won more than one match with this rifle and I normally shoot it a lot better than this. But everybody who's ever done any amount of shooting has had a day like this where the bullets just didn't go where you wanted them to go. Now. I gotta say, if I'm talking about dealing with an enemy combatant, I'm not feeling too bad if I'm shooting like this at 100 yards, but I can shoot this rifle better than that. And this bugs me. So I think I'm going to go back to the range with some match ammunition, which is what I typically shoot through this rifle, and try this again and see what it looks like with some ammunition that I think that rifle is gonna like a little bit better. So here we go, folks. Different day, different range different cover, same rifle, same shooter, although I did get a haircut today. My hair was starting to look kind of woolly, so maybe if I look more like a Marine, I'll shoot more like a Marine. Also, different ammo today, so we're going to see how the M1 likes this match loading. And I've got everything set up here on the 100-yard line. I've been dealing with a little bit of wind today, but it's not too bad right now. It seems to have died down some, so I will once again be shooting a clip of two followed by a clip of eight Make sure that's in battery and here we go let's try the first shot
First shot I'm going to call a 10 at 9. And it looks like an 8 at about 4. So I'm going to make a windage correction. I'm going to go one minute of angle to the left. Yeah, I think I'll keep the elevation there for right now. We'll see what happens on this second shot. That also looked like a 10 at 9. And it is a X at 9. So good. Starting off well today. Let's see if I can keep it going. Call that one a 10 at 3. And it's a 10 at about 12.30. As long as they're in 10 ring, I'm not going to complain. One broke a little bit before I was ready. I'm hoping that's an eight at nine. Nope. So I got one outside the black. See if I can make that the only one. That looked like an X. And on the sheet, or on the target rather, it looks like a 10 at about 11. Call that one a 10 at about 11. Well, I don't see anything else outside the black, so it should at least be a scorable shot. That one looked good. We're going to call it a 10 at about 9 o'clock. And it looks like it might be another 10 at 12. I think it's touching the line. So we're doing pretty well here. So far, better than yesterday. That might have been a 9 at 12. Looks like the front sight was just a little high that time. And that might have been a 9 at 5 o'clock. I see one down there now. That looked a tad high. So we're going to call 9 at 12. It's getting really hard to pick out the individual shots down there now because there's so many of them, but they seem to be staying in the black. 
So let's try another one. That one looked good. I'm going to call that one a 10 at about 10 o'clock. And so far, I only see that one shot outside the scoring rings, and that was just a bad shot on my part. Let's go down range and take a look at the target. So that's a little more like it. This time around, if my math is correct, I came up with an 85 2X, and if I could have counted that one, which I could in an actual NRA competition or a CMP competition, that would bring me up to a 92 this time around. So yes, definitely my rifle like that match ammunition better, and that's a little bit more the way I'm accustomed to shooting that rifle. So in the end, with ammunition my rifle likes, I end up with an 85, which is a much more respectable score to shoot for all you veterans out there in honor of this upcoming Veterans Day. By the way, if you are so inclined and you have a vintage military rifle with no special match conditioning, so that means GI sights, GI trigger, if you have an M1 GI gas system, just like my HRA 1955 vintage rifle here, then you can shoot this challenge too check out the description section of this video, and I have a link to the original video. This challenge was devised by Long Rifle, so I have a link to his video in the description, and I also have a link to the video produced by Mr. Revolver Guy, where he shoots his way through the challenge with his M1 from bags on top of a bench. Come on, guys. <laughs> you know that's not the way Marines shoot. So I'm giving a hard time to both him and Long Rifle, who's also a retired Marine. In any case, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, stop by hrfunk.com and check out all the news and information there. Also, be sure to stop by the product information page to check out links to all of the products that I've reviewed here on the channel, and also take note of all the discount codes listed for those products. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.